To find the best airfares, you have to avoid holidays. Fares typically shoot up during spring and summer break and during Thanksgiving and Christmas. If you are traveling abroad, avoid local holidays. The best time to travel, especially to Europe is in the shoulder season. March to June, before summer break and in early fall, from September to October. You will not only get better airfare deals, you will also have less tourists and so better deals on hotels too. Locals are also more likely to be friendly and helpful, when there are fewer visitors. Imagine, no lines at museums, less crowded streets, bars and restaurants and much better bargains. Always use the incognito mode on Google, the in-private mode on Explorer or DuckDuckGo or a VPN. Always be flexible on dates. A few days can make a difference of hundreds of dollars. Always check out the airfare price grid on the booking site. Use different dates and see how the price changes. Flights are usually cheaper on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Saturdays when fewer businessmen travel. And always try to book a ticket Tuesday to Thursday, never on a weekend. Also traveling in the afternoon or evening is usually cheaper. Overnight flights can save money on a hotel room. Do not try to book flights on weekends, when everyone else is also checking. Use multiple sites to check prices. You can set up alerts on most sites, to notify you when prices drop. A few paid sites like Going can find unbelievable deals from your local airport and so may be worth paying for. The following are good sites to search and compare. Google Flights, Kayak, Cheapo Air, Skyscanner, Hopper, Kiwi and Way Away. Once you find a price you like, always book through the airline's website or from a reputable travel agency like Expedia. Do not book from an unknown third-party site. I know of enough horror stories, where flight were cancelled and no refunds or alternatives were arranged. If you are flexible on dates as well as where you want to go, Use the Explore feature on Google Flights or Kayak. You may be surprised by unexpected deals. Use free layovers to see another city. In this example I could see Istanbul or Copenhagen, on my way to Berlin from Los Angeles. Many airlines allow extended free layovers. Some even provide hotels for free. I have stayed and toured Doha, Dubai, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Singapore, Panama City, and Bangkok and other cities for free. You can use something called skip lagging where you get off the plane at a stop on the way, however airlines do not like this. Also remember, you have to buy a one-way ticket and carry only hand luggage. Like and subscribe, so that I can create more content. Please post your comments below. Join a frequent flyer program. I have used Star Alliance miles to fly business class to Asia and Europe. I use the Chase Sapphire Reserve card which has a hefty $550 annual fee. However $300 of annual travel spending is reimbursed, plus you get 5 times points on flights, 10 times on hotels and car rentals, as well as trip cancellation and lost luggage insurance. It also offers Priority Pass which gives me unlimited access to over 1,300 airport lounges all over the world. I have used lounges in Europe, Asia, Africa and Central and South America.
They also reimburse fees for global entry. They are not paying me to say this. Do your own research and find the best travel card for yourself. Let me know what you think, with your comments below.